I'm sitting inside of Marv, the Mobile Authority Resistance Vehicle, which I own. It's my RV. It was the RV that was down in Greenfield on July 1st, and the RV that the Greenfield Police Department came inside of without a warrant and searched and ripped up and damaged and um, claimed to have found ammo in. Um, I wanted to point out the the reason that they say they were able to come in was because they there was no the VIN number had been manipulated the VIN number on the dash. But as I've said since day one, there is no VIN number on the dash like a normal car. There is no VIN plate, so there is no VIN plate to be manipulated. So their whole search uh, was done uh, un unjustly outside the bounds of even the legislation that they claim to support. So first, I want to point out. Uh, uh, here's Todd M. Dodge. Todd M. Dodge was the arresting officer, Officer he 120. Here's his report. And, uh, uh, Todd M. Dodge in it. You'll see it says uh, Greenfield Police Department up top. T Todd M. Dodge, badge number 120. So this is his police report. And um, near the bottom of the first page, it's about a four page report. He notes that he observed a large RV, uh, he ran the plate. Came back to a 2004 RV registered to Pete Air, which is me. Uh, it says the color is cream. So then he said he wanted to check the VIN number to make sure it wasn't stolen because right now the RV is golden black. So then Todd M. Dodge says he searched for a VIN number. He couldn't find one. He says um, there was no VIN plate mounted on the driver's side. He says there were holes in the dash par with partially inserted screws. So he said... Um, which he says that was the standard distance apart for a standard VIN plate, which, you know, the picture that they took uh, and submitted into evidence is of uh, a vent, which is probably almost two feet long. So that doesn't really seem like the standard size of, of a VIN plate. He told his colleague, Lieutenant uh, William Gordon, that the VIN number had been feloniously removed from the dash. So then his colleague... Uh, William Gordon, here's his report. You'll know Greenfield Police Department, William Gordon, badge number 105. So he notes how uh, Sergeant Dodge, Todd M. Dodge, called him out there. or He heard, he had requested to have him find the VIN number. So he shows up, looks for the VIN number. He too says he can't find one. So um, they had the, the uh, they searched the RV there. They had a tow truck come out and uh, bring it to the police department where they further searched it. But the reason for this video today is to show uh, the dash and to show just how wrong these these criminals these criminals were. I mean that's a accurate description because they broke into my house and they stole my property and they damaged my property. So I don't know of any other uh, more accurate definition for their actions. I mean they had no right to be in here because they came in here. Uh, they're now charging me with a. a um, a misdemeanor VIN manipulation and a felony because as I mentioned earlier they claim to have found some ammo um, which I guess uh, they claim is illegal t uh, to have in Massachusetts without a firearm identification card I mean that's just how far uh, gone uh, common sense is down there um, you know I thought I took out uh, my couple firearms and all the ammo I had in the RV before I left the state of New, of New Hampshire because I didn't even want it to be an issue. I knew we were going to uh, interact with people with badges when we went to bail out our friend. And, you know, I thought it was a 0.001% chance we were going to have any issues with law enforcement. Um, but as you know, they took issue with us filming. They took issue, even though they were unable to point to the policy that told us we couldn't film. And then they just exacerbated the situation and piled on the charges as these guys often do if you don't jump through their hoops and obey their dictates when they can't even point to them on paper. They claim it's a policy, but they can't even point to it. So anyway, I just wanted to show the dash. I want to, I want to, Damo and I are all advocates of being transparent and open. So here is the dash. You'll see that there are no VIN plates that, that have been manipulated. There are no holes uh, from a previous VIN number that have been taken off or anything like that. So, so again, it's the RV. Here's, I mean, see the shot. It's a big RV. It's a big vehicle. So, it's not like a regular vehicle, so here, this is obviously the passenger side here. This is a little vent, you know, I'll, here's my hand for reference, for size, you know, maybe four or five inches um, long. And then, so, nothing over here. Here's the start of one of the vents I mentioned. This is our, our bear, the anti-war bear, with some uh, pretty awesome flare there. Coplock.org, libbyontour.com, V for voluntary, 
and a Nota Empire, but he's been with us uh, for the past couple trips on the road, Motorhome Dyers and Liberty on tour. So anyway, there's one vent. Obviously no VIN number, no plate. Here's a little uh, radar detector that we got. So obviously nothing up here yet. Getting over to the driver's side, here's another vent. You know, I'll zoom in. This is what uh, Todd M. Dodge and his colleagues submitted as evidence of there being a VIN plate manipulated. But as you see, I mean, here again, here's my hand for comparison size. I mean, it's a pretty sizable, um, pretty sizable vent. So that's obviously not a VIN number that has been manipulated. And then going around, here's the corner. Here's, uh, here's another little vent. And then, you know, that's it. So, I mean, they build these RVs, these, they're not, they don't roll out millions of these RVs, so each RV's a little custom, there's a little bit of wiggle, obviously, in how this dash is put together compared to other vehicles, so they, you know, I don't know, they just chose not to put a vent plate on the dash for whatever reason, but that's it. So, Todd and Dodge and his colleagues, after, after uh, taking my key off my person when we were being booked in the police department, came in here and uh they eventually they eventually found a vin number on i guess the engine itself um which you can access right in between the the driver and passenger seat uh this is a class a motorhome and they call this a dog house because you you can take this cover off here and access the engine and that's what they did and then they found a, a vin number in there and then they were able to to discern that yes this RV had not been stolen, but not before they broke into my house, damaged property, stole my property, and are now charging me with a felony uh, ammo, which has a two and a half year mandatory minimum with 18 months served and potential fines, as well as a, a, a misdemeanor for the VIN plate. So, I mean, it's clear we didn't do anything wrong that day, and the fact that these guys still have these charges hanging over my head, and they lack any common sense to actually, you know, uh, look at this uh, and not just uh, believe the police reports uh, is ridiculous so you know if you feel likewise I encourage you to call uh, uh, Jeffrey Bankston down at the uh, the district attorney's office in Northwest Massachusetts I mean he, he and his colleagues uh, continue to pursue these ridiculous charges and um, you know it's just it's such a waste of our time I mean we have much better things we could be doing rather than trying to convince them that we didn't do anything wrong and that that there is no evidence to support these charges and that they shouldn't have been in here in the first place so you know this is the criminal justice system today and unfortunately you know the the folks that see it firsthand are, are people that get looped in and roped into it and and uh you know the state threatens with a gun if, if a demo and i don't show up in court to dispute this and and point out that in fact they're in the wrong then they're going to send men with guns to our house to, to take us to a cage. So, you know, it's it's more of a defensive thing for us now to make these videos and put this information out there and show that, in fact, the cops are in the wrong. So, you know, that's all for now, I guess. Signing off. Thanks for your time. Peace.